Hey guys, welcome to the Eminence Podcast. We've got a crew here with us today, Tyler Bell, announcer for Apex, Cam Teague, just signed with Dana White's Contender Series, be performing on there in September, and always Omar Johnson with us, getting ready for a big fight himself. Uh, so yeah, since uh, last time we were here, we were talking about Cam, was getting ready to fight Lingo for Fury. How'd, uh, how'd that go for you, Cam? Totally stuck to the game plan. You know? Did you? Did you? <laughs> Didn't get in a brawl. Got him no. out of there in the second round. You know, took no damage. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. All your fans know that you know when the Cam Teague's in the cage, it's going to be real technical. That's right. 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 Going to keep your distance and you know pump those exactly straight punches. That. Yeah, yeah. Regardless what of what show. the Instagram posts say. Regardless. Yeah. Or what they yeah. look like. People lie. You yeah. know, it's the internet. People lie on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. AI stuff's pretty out. good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, uh, yeah, man. But, uh, you know, hell of a performance. Mm -hmm. He uh, just looked like he just couldn't handle the storm. No, he came out hard like I thought he would. But yep, yep. I would have liked the guy hit a little less than I did. But think your coaches would have said the same <laughs> as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked out. Coach, Coach Mike. Yeah, Coach Mike couldn't make it today, so we got to we gotta plug him. <laughs> it worked out. It worked out. Yeah, it did. It, it faded hard and. I was able to take over, so. Yep, yep. I'll yeah. take a fight like that every time because in the UFC, that's 50 grand. So. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but in Fury, it was nothing. <laughs> 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 so save those till you're getting paid for them, guys. Yeah. Business. But I guess got you to the show, though, so we'll yeah. take it. It put me on the map. I was yeah. there. The following went up a lot because of that. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, next opponent, uh, we'll talk about him. Yeah, What's old name? Kevin. Uh, Valios, I think. Argentina. Yeah, don't ask me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big K. Big K. Big 13 K. and 1, 9 KOs, you know. Supposed to be scary. Nobody wanted to fight him, but, you know. They called the right guy. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to bring the Homer Simpson defense, or are you going to? You know, I'm going to go out there and fight like a Try to break his hands with your face like you did. Yeah, yeah. Move around and. I'm definitely not going to get in a brawl in front of Dana White or anything definitely. like that. Definitely. I right. feel strong that that's not going to happen. Probably, <laughs> probably going to show him your wrestling. You've been working on with Blake, huh? Your wrestling in your jiu-jitsu game? That yeah, if he practicing. grabs me, you'll see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 That'll be uh, fun. It's, yeah. It'll be hard, but they're all hard, so. Yeah, it'll be good, man. It'll be good. It's a fun experience for sure. Definitely be cool. I'm sure uh, we'll have a lot of people back here watching their mobile, so. For yeah. Sure. For sure. It was a good turnout last time, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta get a camera, man, so everybody like we can see like the reaction of the crowd and stuff too. That's uh -huh. dope. Yeah. yeah, we just gotta make sure that uh one of the guys emails Miss Heidi at the UFC and gets permission first to ah, oh, okay. show yeah, the fight. Yeah, because so, yeah, yeah. maybe that was supposed to happen. And maybe yeah, probably could have like because uh, sometimes on the contender series they got like a live like camera, so yeah, yeah, maybe. It's, you gotta email. Oh, you gotta email Miss Heidi. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll get somebody to email her this time. Somebody that might have forgot to do it. I don't know. Oh. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So exciting. Uh, and then we got we got actually got a pretty big UFC card coming up. Mm -hmm. um, the three hundred six card. Yeah. What do you guys What do you like on there, Omar? Uh. We're going to start at the top of the card or the bottom, man. What do you like, man? What do you like? What's your picks? Um, well, we can start at the top, man. You can pull the card up, Let's man. pull Let's it up. Let's it. pull it Let's up. Let's talk about it. Obviously, we got the main event, man. I know that's what most people probably want to hear about. Um, but we can give, give, give some love to the to the bottom end of the card. Yep. Uh, start at the bottom with the prelims, man. I think that we have, uh, is it? I don't know any of these guys. Yasmin and Ketlin. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, man, I, I think Ketlin just – Real quick, I'm going to run through it, man. I think she has a couple of subs on her record. So I'm going to go with Yasmin in that one. Uh, for this fight right here between Edgar and Kevin, uh, I like Edgar in that one, man. I think it's going to be a good fight for the fans, but I think Edgar has more tools to finish the fight. Um, moving up to that lightweight fight, we got Manuel Torres and Ignacio. Man, that's going to be a good fight. Manuel, he has a lot of first-round finishes on his record. Um, Ignacio... He's a finisher as well, but here's my take on that. First round finishes always concern me. Um, those guys typically hunt finishes early on, and if you don't finish your opponent and you fight somebody who's skilled and can carry you a little bit longer, you typically gas yourself out. Hence my pick, Ignacio, for that one. Let me give you uh, Norma Dumont 
in Irene Adonia. Um, that should be a close fight, man. I uh, it's hard for me to really pick a pick one on that one. I'm I, I really like Irene. Yeah, yeah, uh, man. She was she was in Brazil with us. She was real cool. I really like her camp, and she she's a team. lot better than she showed. She's long too. She's right. long. She's got a dynamite left hook. Yeah, like you know all the other Mexican fighters, staple yeah. of their their That's stand up. Nice one, man. I, I'm hard pressed on that. One. If I, I had to make a lean, I'm roll with you on that one. Yeah, I, I like her. I like her. Um, I think her length. She's a lot better than she showed her title fight. I think she just the moment got to her a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you can know. That. And um, I think she's she's got a lot more to give. I think she's a future champion. I've said that for oh, a while. Word. Okay. I All think right. she's I think she's got a lot of game, man. Good okay. good kid Hot too. Take. Hot good take. kid. Are good kid. Write these down so I can take them to the Biloxi. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, we should get our cut, legs, right? We get our cut. Twelve leg, thirteen leg. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Will Covington style. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way you, you're sweating all through all the cards. Um, Rosas and I, I don't want to try to butcher this young man's name. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, but he's in trouble. Yeah, 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 man. The, yeah. the, the, the one name gentleman. Yeah, I think he's in trouble. Get finished, man. He's probably gonna get subbed. I think they're feeding. My man right here to help him out right there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all those all those Russians kids were yeah. on the car with Cam too, yeah, that last Fury right card. Man. Oh yeah, man, he's gonna get a good, yeah, good fight right good match I thought uh, Rowell was like looked a little bigger or something, but he just he looks like a high school kid, man. He <laughs> is, man. He looks like uh Yon <laughs> Tell and on the <laughs> in our locker. I said, hey, this guy's the one that's been messing everybody up, bro. Yeah, man. Hey man, I can't speak on that, man. I, I coach high school ball, and ain't nobody, none of my football players beat me up. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who we got next, man? Um, Odie Osborne and Ronaldo. I haven't seen Ronaldo fight, but I've seen Odie fight, man, and I know he, he comes to fight. So um, that's going to be an entertaining one, man. I, I, I'm picking that one not to go the distance. Can't ever tell those flyweights, man. Uh, yeah, that's the truth. It's hard, it's hard, hard with those flyweights. Maybe they can crack, man. I don't know. We'll see. This one looks interesting here. Zabu, uh, Daniel, Zell, Daniel Zell Huber? Yeah, he's tough. And Esteban. Oh, oh man. Argentine. I wonder if he trains with Cam's guy. Use that T word, man. No, I don't know, man. Rebovix. I'm going to have to go with Daniel in this one, man. I'm going to yep. have to go with Daniel in this one. I don't really know much about those guys, but I know. I couldn't pull any harder in a fight than I'm gonna be pulling for Diego Lopez against Brian Ortega. Lock of the night. Woo. I know. I know for sure that the Mills household will be cheering for Lopez in that. Lock of the night. So that's, that's let's my go favorite. ahead and get rid of Ortega. Let's get rid of the little Gracie kid in his corner. We don't need to see that shit in the UFC anymore. I'm gonna say it again. Woo. And say let's again move on. Lock of the night. All Take right. it. Take it. Hey, if it's three times, we get our money back, right? You said it three times. Hey, man. Hey, listen. That's up to you how you how you make your place and Blake place your bets. Yep. I don't know much about these girls fighting. Uh, I know they had a couple of wars, Grasso and Shevchenko. What I've always been a fan of Valentina, man. I thought she, I think she's one of the better, like overall mixed martial artists in the UFC. But I also believe there's always that one fighter who just happens to have your number. Has your number. And it seems like Grasso just has her number. So. I'm going to watch it because, I mean, I like watching fights. So, but as far as this one, man, I, I'm going to leave Valentina because I, I, I like the way she gets down, man. But I don't know. We'll see. I heard Cam plug Grasso over there. So, Grasso. Yeah. Sounds like uh, she's a kryptonite. Yeah. 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 Just yeah, got her number. <laughs> um, and then we got the main. Ooh. Couldn't possibly be cheering against anybody as much as I cheer against O'Malley. So I hope Marab just totally wrestle fucks him like I think he will. Got TKO in round three. Oof, Oof. I hope not. Uh, I hope not. If if it happens, if Sean finishes him, I think it's early on the fight. The longer the fight takes place, I agree. I think it swings in Marab's favor, especially over 25 minutes. I agree. And the thing is, like, Marab, he, yes, he has probably, he gets like a thousand takedowns because he doesn't hold anyone down. Yeah. But, like, obviously, they have those wrestling changes, like, they gas you out. Mm-hmm. And Sean being my height fighting at 135, uh, you know, that's, I don't know if I had it. Do what now? Marab, he's he does. He has times. been rocked. So, Cam, Cam, that's a good point. He has been rocked a few times. So, man, we'll see. Anybody can snipe him. That's the one to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it helps when you're. It's true. I can't imagine being 5'10 fighting people that's 5'3. <laughs> Jesus, that would be fun. <laughs> I might kill somebody. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. We got, 
I don't even know about this Pahea Roundtree fight. I mean, Ooh. Well, uh, at least I, don't, I don't really, I don't see where that was the, the fight to make, but. One, for my, it's not going to distance, I'm going to tell you that. No. And I think both gentlemen are somewhat chinny. So, mm-hmm. I mean, people can say what they want to say, but I think a chinny and Alex Bear has terrible striking defense. So th- there goes the whole high level striking thing. Offensive, yes, defense leaves something to be desired. Khalil hits like a, a truck, and he can kick box as well. So the people that Khalil has problems with typically are people that present, you know, takedowns. And mm-hmm. Alex, we know, is not going to do that. But I think it's going to be closer than what people expect, but I'm not expecting it to go. The judges can go ahead and put their scorecards away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had a hard fight with uh, that kickboxer. Khalil did. What is his name? Dustin Jacoby. Dustin Jacoby. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty, He's a dog, he's, though. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, he's a dog. I mean, he fought in glory and. Going to war with him and then fighting Alex is kind of a different thing. Yeah, it's a different level for sure. But I'll say this. The, the media has a way of making some people look like they're better than what they are. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. I don't really care about the girl fight, do y'all? Uh, who is that, Julia? Raquel Pennington Juliana and Pena. Raquel Pennington. I think they're just um, a so placeholder until Kayla gets there. Yeah, but I, give me Pena in that one. Yeah, I'll take Pena, too. Yeah. I've never seen much from Pennington to be the face of it. But. Um, Yeah, she's, I mean, she's a good striker. I mean, she'll come in right? and box a little bit. But I mean, right? how she's going to defend She don't really hurt guys. I mean, nah. she don't really hurt girls. No, like, no, nah, nah, man. She's just good, good entertainer fight for the fans, I'll say. Yeah. Let's see uh, what we got. Wonderboy and Buckley. Buckley. Mm. What you think, Cam? I think uh, Wonderboy's fastest time. Yeah, he's old. I hope yeah. he can find that one more run, though. Yeah, man. I just hope Buckley doesn't. You know, Buckley's such a cut. Out, out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do too. I would like to pick one. That last, that last uh, Buckley, the way he acted after that last fight, I, I got no desire to see him. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Click and follow those guys, man. Yeah. Uh, I would like for Wonder Boy to go ahead and write the write the ship right here and get butter out of there, but yeah, and then ride off. Yeah, but like Cam said, man, it might be a little bit past time. But I think Buckley's like forward pressure might give him problems. I like feel he's like, not gonna stand there and give him space. I feel like it's never yeah. been good for people that aren't a heavyweight and they're fighting in their forties. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's true. But he does have it's a true. different style. He has a different style. We course. are not too old for the earth, but we are too old for the cage. Say it's who? Yeah. When we're in our forties. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Talk to me when I'm forty. <laughs> but I'm going on 22 right now. There you go. There you go. Um, what else we got? Aldo needs to go ahead and hang him up. Man, give me Jose Aldo, man. He's he one of the reasons I put the trunks on, man. He needs to go ahead and I hang him man. up. I don't care who you I'm fight. a huge fan. I always liked him. But. Did you see his last fight? Yeah, that's what I said. He dominated last fight. Yeah, Did he start low kicking again? It didn't matter. He beat Bud up. See? Yeah. Why well, well, he fucking go back to his low kicks? That's what he was he hurting. Don't need to. He'll pull him out when he needs some coach. Jose Aldo. All right. I'm pulling for him. I'm pulling for him. I want him a lock of the night now. (laughs) Lock of the night. All right. All right. All right. All right. right. He called it. He called it. Yeah. He was out. I'm not backing up my statement. Uh-uh. Kevin Holland and Roman. Ooh. Deladze. That's going to be an entertaining fight, man. I always like to watch Kevin Holland fight. Yeah. He's always always entertaining. Always puts on a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. I think what the think he's in trouble there. No. 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 I think I think based on Kevin's last performances, he's transitioning more of a, to a more well-rounded mixed martial artist, and I think he's Smart. taking it a little bit more serious than I, yep. you can tell in this game. He's a black belt in jujitsu, right? Uh, that's subjective, coach. <laughs> I mean, he's got he's got some grappling. He wrestled. Yeah, yeah, he wrestled. He's a black belt. Hey, Kevin man, Holland, he's right? Nice, man. It's a lot he's of people a black belt. Yeah. I thought he's a jiu-jitsu guy, too. I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to look. We'll yeah, get, we'll man, get back to y'all on that one. I don't want to disrespect him by the discipline, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think he has enough skill to get it done. Roman, and on the other hand, I think he just kind of charged forward, looked for that one big shot. Mm-hmm. But Kevin, man, he can hit you from across the cage. So It's true. And he has power. So, yeah, man. What we got next? Uh, Is that Aljo? Aljo uh, and... Some Russian. Yeah, Mozovar, give me him. I'll take the Russian. Yeah, yeah. I like him. I think he's probably one of the better guys in the division. Oh, there's uh, Kayla's fighting, too. Oh, well, Ketlin Vieira. Kayla Harris by armbar. Yeah. Sub in the first round. With a throw? Yes. Yep. Nice throw against the fence. 
Anyway, uh, I couldn't find the PFL card. I was going to try to talk about that one. But, uh, Francis and whatever. Yeah. Francis and Fajaya, Battle of the Giants. Mm. Uh, I got to go I with the... Save I got to go... You want to save it? Yeah, we can save okay. it. Okay. We can save it. We got time. Yeah, wait to get closer to, uh, to time. Friends is getting knocked out, but we'll save it and talk Ooh. about it. Ooh, spicy. Uh, don't nobody want that big Brazilian, man. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of man. That's a lot of man. Yeah. Um, well, we got... Let's see, we got a show. We got our first show coming up in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. October 18th. So that'll be fun. We're going to do some boxing, some kickboxing. Um, should, should be a lot of fun. Interested to, to get traveling now. We just had Mississippi. Now we've got Louisiana. So we've got a lot of things coming up with us. Um, and then uh, we'll be back in Mobile November 15th and January 4th as well. So we're going to have some real good fights we're going to announce soon. Definitely stay tuned. Check that out uh, on our social. But we've also got uh, let the cat out of the bag for you. Do we have a contract? We got a verbal agreement. Verbal agreement. You want to wait? We can... Verbal agreement's good enough. Yeah. No, it's never been good enough for me, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of we got, a lot, we got a lot of people paper. tearing up our down. Yeah, we'll say paper. this. We'll, we'll say this. There's something brewing uh -huh. right? coming up. Could be a big opportunity. Um, if it does come to fruition, then I'll be more than prepared um, to take that belt. Yeah, to take the belt. And uh, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. And if the opponent does follow through with, you know, sign the contract and we get everything squared away, man, um, I think he's a, it'd be a good matchup, fun, fun for the fans. Um, but I think I'm a terrible matchup for him. I think I'm a terrible matchup for anybody that considers himself striking, to be real. So we'll see. Stay tuned, man. More knockout material coming to you soon. <laughs> highlights, yeah, highlights. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You guys got anything else? I just wanted to hear from Cam more about how camp was going. Oh, <laughs> it's crunch time because it's so short notice. So. Mm -hmm. Pretty tiring, but I'll be ready for fight week. You know, coach is pushing me hard and breaking the body down and lots of running. I'm about to train here for the next three hours and go home rest and go run again. So I'll be there. I'll be ready. Make sure you stay in touch with the PT in case yeah, you need right. some recovery. Yeah. Lots of lots of sleeping, lots of training. Yeah. Lots That's of water. Dynasty, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of put down I, when I went to fight. I was uh, really playing it before I went to uh, yeah. you know, fight Lingo, but since I've been back, I ain't turned it on. Oh, okay. I got you. Don't do it, man. Maybe I lost a piece of myself that night to oh, play oh, Dynasty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. You about lost me and Blake Anthony yelling at your ass on the damn <laughs> <laughs> screen. I was back here, like, walking. Yeah. Back. I was like, man, come on, man. <laughs> me and Blake are up here. I'm cussing Slipping in front shots. of my kids. Like. <laughs> yeah, he was a lot faster than I thought he'd be. Yeah? Yeah. I won't make yeah. that mistake again. Mm -mm. This yeah. kid's pretty quick. I'm about to fight, so. Yeah. Short little I can't guy. call him a kid now too because he's he's younger than me. So he's like oh, twenty two. Old oh, man, now he's yeah, a seasoned, old man. seasoned vet. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Here we go. Close now. Almost Here a long status. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, get in there. Yeah. <laughs> you start yeah. seeing young still with mustaches and like they coming in talking about uh, college courses and whatnot. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna hit you. Yeah. Yeah, I got them now. They're, they were little kids in the kids' class. They're married with kids. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. gotta... hey, well, coach, can you be in my wedding? Yeah. That's what, what? what? <laughs> For real. I got to start getting some retirement put away or something. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm getting in happen. trouble now, man. Um, yeah. Jimmy, you look too good to be being that old, man. Well, you know, it's good genes. Yeah. It's good genes. It's a combination of, you know, I drink light beer. So <laughs> that helps, right? You know, I've cut down to ice cream two or three times a week, mm -hmm, right? You. you know, a lot of steak, a lot of hamburgers. You know, you got to keep that red meat strong. Yeah. So, you know, stay away from that vegetarian shit. That doesn't help you. <laughs> right? That's no good. That's the baby. Need, need meat. <laughs> need meat, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I'll have a little lettuce on my burger, you yeah. know. But, but you're not a rabbit now. Yeah, no. I know. That's what my food eats. Yeah, man. Yeah, my yeah, food yeah, eats yeah, vegetables. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Good. Well, good, guys. I uh, think that'll do it for us here on uh, Labor Day broadcast. 
we'll get back uh, something in the works pretty soon. We'll get this contract signed for Omar so we can let the cat out of the bag and start talking about where you can watch it on TV and uh, who the opponent's going to be. So we'll be back before Cam's fight. We'll check in with him one more time, and uh, maybe we'll get a little footage from Vegas that we can show you guys as well. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You guys got anything else? That's it, man. No? No? Appreciate All right. It. Thanks, guys. Tune in next time.